In this video, I'm going to introduce the quotient rule for derivatives. Uh, we'll just go through one straightforward example, just implementing the actual quotient rule. So what I have done here is I have started with writing the formula down. We've got ddx of f of x over g of x. All right, so quotient rule means I need to have a quotient to be able to do the quotient rule. The quotient rule states that you're going to take the bottom function times the derivative of the top and then subtract the top function times the derivative of the bottom function and then take the bottom function and square it. Okay, so a pretty straightforward formula that you are going to have to memorize. Now, a really good way to memorize this would be um, a kind of a cute little saying here. Low d high, meaning low, what's on the bottom, times d high, which would be the derivative at the top, d high, minus high, and then d low, all over low squared. Alright, and that's kind of a catchy little thing once you get to saying it really fast. Low d high minus high d low all over low squared. It's just kind of a cute, easy way to remember what you're taking the derivative of and where and all that kind of stuff. Low being the polynomial curve that's in the denominator and high being the what's in the numerator there. Okay, so let's implement that on this straightforward quotient rule problem here. So let's say our function is 5x minus 2 all over x squared plus 1. All right, so bottom function is x squared plus 1, top function is that 5x minus 2. All right, now I am going to use um, some derivative notation in here that after you get really good at it, you would probably drop after a while. But so let's tell them that we're going to start taking the derivative here. So f prime of x, all right, is equal to low, so x squared plus 1, times the derivative of the top. So I'm going to write it ddx of 5x minus 2, all right, minus the top, 5x minus 2, times the derivative of the low, so ddx of x squared plus 1. And then that is all over the bottom, x squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so now as it sets right there, all I have done is really implemented the formula there, just showing, okay, now I've got to take the derivative here, I've got to take the derivative here. Um, and like I said, later on, you may n drop this ddx notation and just actually go ahead in that step and take the derivative. But like right now, if you're just initially learning it, you're going to do that. And then once the problem becomes a lot more complicated, like maybe the top or bottom um, includes a chain rule or something like that, then it might be very good to put that ddx notation right in on that step. Okay, now, so let's um, come over here. I'm going to come all the way down to here. All right, so this is not going to change. So x squared plus 1. All right, derivative of that expression right there, well, derivative of 5x minus 2 is just going to be a 5 minus 5x minus 2. And then times that derivative of x squared plus 1, it's just going to be a 2x. And then all over x squared plus 1. We'll go ahead and make those curvy squared. Okay, now at this point, the only thing that um, I might point out is because a lot of people make a mistake here. All right, obviously this first term, everything before the minus sign, is all one term. You're going to do some distributive property. It's not a problem. All right, but this says minus everything to the right. All right, you've got to subtract everything to the right. So really, if you have to distribute or do anything over here and you end up with more than one term, you've got to remember that you are subtracting this entire quantity so it would involve going through and changing all of the signs. All right, so let's do some distributive property here. We'd have a 5x squared plus a 5. And then I'm just going to leave the minus right there for right now and put this in a set of parentheses here. All right, so then we'd have a 10x squared and a minus 4x. All right, still not doing anything with this denominator. x squared plus 1 quantity squared. Okay, now, probably wouldn't hurt to go through and 
change the signs of these two right here. And right there, the sign on this one is the one that's going to create problems if you forget you are subtracting everything to the right. Okay, so we'll go one more time here. Let's move up just a little bit. Alright, so 5x squared plus 5, and then let's go minus 10x squared, and then that's going to make that a plus 4x. All over x squared plus 1. And then we've got some like terms there on the top that we can take care of. So minus 5x squared plus the 4x plus the 5, just going in the right order there. And then x squared plus 1, quantity squared for a final answer. Alright, so in this video I just wanted to do one straightforward example of the quotient rule for derivatives, all right, and um, give you a little mnemonic for memorizing the quotient rule. Low d high minus high d low all over low squared. I think that makes it really simple. Uh, definitely, thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.